Yo, yo, people, Garrett Tadun here for another Flash and Lights video, and I know it's been a while since we said that, but this is worth the wait because we have a new vehicle in the game. Check this thing out. What in the world? I was never expecting them to add another vehicle. I thought we had everything, but I guess I was wrong because here is a new SUV. So let's actually hop on in. I want to give you guys a full rundown of this thing. Now, it's still a work in progress. It's not fully done. You got to opt into Unstable Test Branch if you want to use it. But I noticed something about this vehicle that's very different than the others. So to start off, obviously, we've got a lighting package. It's pretty cool. You can customize it, do whatever. Very, very nice to see that they're continuing that system. But what they are changing up is the way the engine sounds. And that's because, to my knowledge, this thing is electric. If I go to drive, it is silent. And we gain speed very, very quickly. Look at this. Like, what? There's, there's no way that this is anything like the other vehicles. I am so shocked to see any kind of electric vehicle in the game. Now, okay, of course we gotta hit a pole. But now, this is making me wonder if we're gonna see more of these and do we have to fill this thing up with fuel or are they gonna have some kind of electric pump or I, I don't even know what they're gonna be doing. I guess it's not really a pump, more just an electric cable. But you know what I mean. Either way, here's the interior and as you guys can tell, it's very nice. It is still being worked on, they said. Uh, same with the liveries, so the way the design is on the outside. Currently, we only have this blacked out version, but they will be adding some different skins to it, and of course, we'll have modders doing the same. So hopefully, we'll be getting working gauges here soon. I'm assuming by the stable branch release that we'll have that. For now, we are going to be trying to do a patrol in this vehicle. Check this out, and the back is clearly still being worked on. That looks weird. Wait, wait, maybe it's not. I feel like that's a reflection. Let's give this a shot, okay? I'm gonna drive, and let's actually go to where the gas station is. And then we'll see two things. One, if we can refuel and how that all works. But then, does the reflection change? And the answer is, yeah, it definitely does change. Okay, so that's really cool. Let's actually open up the back door, see maybe we can get a better look. Now this is something I don't do often, but we can do slash cam one, and it allows us to fly around. So let's see what we got popping back here. Yeah, so definitely very reflective glass. Maybe they need to turn that down a little bit, but either way, we got our plastic seats in the back, so no one injures themselves back here. And we have a nice big divider, pretty basic, exactly what you would expect in one of these. And if we go to the trunk, we got a fire extinguisher, some kind of box, probably with a weapon. We have a traffic cone that becomes like 20 of them. And it looks like there is some kind of shelving, or maybe that's just a design. But either way, I am a fan of this thing. Look at the front headlights, the running lights down here. I love that kind of LED vibe It's instead of those halogen lights. I hope I said that correctly. I could be wrong. I, I don't know much about lights. But either way, we are going to try filling this thing up. And I am also going to start accepting calls. So we'll wait for those. Of course, we are on the new map. I don't even know if you can refuel in general on this thing. Let's just see. Okay. Of course. Oh, wait. No, it's right here. And, oh, wait. I've got to turn off the engine. What am I doing? Am I new to this game? There we go. Okay. Let's give this a shot. And, yep. Okay. It does refuel. So maybe it's not electric. Maybe they just didn't implement the sounds yet. But I, I really hope this thing is because... That would be very unique, something you really don't see in many games. And we just got a shoplifting call. All right, there we go. So we're gonna be traveling a bit of a distance here because we are at the opposite side of the map. It's actually right beside where our station is. But okay, where's the shoplifting call at? It should be right over here. Uh, okay, clearly I'm not in the right area. Let's try turning around taking that road to the left of us. Somewhere up here, we'll see them standing outside. Come on, there we go. This is why I don't like being code two, because we have to wait sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah, here we are. Alrighty, let me hop on out, and let's talk to this girl over here. 
interact. Hello. Okay, so they look like that. Good to know. And that's pretty much it. Now we do have a general idea that they did head over this direction. So we're going to make our way over. Hopefully we can apprehend the suspect before they get too far. All right, yeah, just move out of the way. Come on, there we go. Thank you. Kind of illegal, but it's okay. <laughs> Everyone keep your eyes peeled. Oh, wait, wait, there he is. Whenever I say to keep your eyes peeled, I always end up seeing the person. Whoa, you just hit my vehicle. Okay, that's not nice. I'm gonna have to get some payback for that. No, I'm not gonna hit him with my vehicle. I'm just gonna use this to get a little bit closer. You know what, we'll, we'll go through here too. Okay, perfect. And then get out the taser. All right, sir, let's stop running. You know I'm gonna catch you. Yep, okay, there you go, tackled. Now next time, you're gonna have a few extra volts in your system, so I'd, I recommend you just comply. There we go. So we'll go actions and handcuff. That's first things first. Now let's frisk him down, see if we can get those stolen goods away. And yep, we do, and we got a weapon. Interesting, did not expect that one. Okay, so we will grab his ID, Hugo Stanley. Nice basic name. <laughs> Let's grab him and bring him into the back of our SUV. Bet you've never heard me say that before, mainly because we didn't have an SUV. <laughs> there we are. He's sitting in there nicely. Okay, uh, if the developers are watching, just Maybe check the collision on the feet and let's see what we got. All right, so driver's license expired. That doesn't really matter. And a rest warrant is affirmative. Good to know. All right, well, we'll just leave that there. That man is definitely going to jail. So with this electric beauty, let's hit back onto the road. And I'm actually going to turn off my lights. I am definitely looking forward to when we have working gauges in here. That is one of those things that just adds so much Minor detail, but great detail when you're in the first person view. All right, there we go. Let's hop on out. I hope they kind of work on the old vehicles to get it to drive like this one because it's really cool. I, I'm a very big fan. All right, ma'am, here you go. Let me actually grab your ID real quick. Okay, now I guess there's really nothing I can do. Even if she has a history, we won't be able to arrest her since she'll just disappear. But We'll have that for our records, and we can return items. There you go. Have a great day. Okay, um, you, you can go around me. Like, I know I don't have my traffic advisors on, but I'm really not blocking the road. Okay, turn on my traffic advisors. Doesn't really seem to be doing anything. You can move forward a little bit. Oh, okay. Something there did the trick. Okay, wait, before we head back, I want to deal with this thing right here because we clearly have a vehicle parked on the side. So we'll grab our traffic vest. There we go. All right, and then let me put this ticket onto here. So we're gonna get this person for blocking driveway or access and done. I swear, if they change the sounds on this and make it so it's not electric, I'm going to be sad. I, I mean that, I, I've said this multiple times, but this thing's just so cool to drive. Now let's see if I can park in one of these spots in this first person view. Ah, uh, this is not gonna work well. Here we go. I'm just looking at that line. Not too bad, but wait, no, we did a terrible job. That line was not what I'm supposed to be aligning with. We're just going to take this guy out of here. I went right to the curb, so that's kind of cool. We'll grab him and bring him inside. All right. Hugo, I think was your first name or last name. You are going to get registered. Yep, Hugo Stanley. There you go. And will the job end automatically? Yes, it did. Mission has been cleared. Ooh, we got reports of someone shoplifting. So this is going to be very similar to the last call. Here we go. And whoops, I don't mean to have my siren on. I meant to have my lights on. There we go. Wait, is this a suspect? This definitely is a suspect, they're running. Come on, stop. Yep, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. There we go. This is gonna be an easy call. Put your hands up, there we go. All right, so actions. Let's handcuff you. I just, I know it's you, man, I know it is. You shouldn't have been running. Let's frisk you down, just to double check. Yep, stolen items. How did you get those? 
then we can grab his ID. Now it does look like we had some kind of collision here. Now it's just the game not quite having proper AI driving. So we'll just let that woman go. But I do want to get them on this side. So if you guys wouldn't mind, just give me a little bit of space. Thank you. With my electric vehicle. Go, 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 go. Whoops. Didn't mean to hit that. This guy is going to be so confused when I come to get his information and already have the suspect in custody. Hey, okay. So let's just see. Can I just return items? Yep. There we go. Now it is time to deal with the suspect and see if anything comes back on his record. Driver's license expired, that doesn't really matter. Five traffic violations, that's kind of sad. And 10 parking tickets. And you were arrested. Okay, yeah, you, you're just going to jail. Like, stop breaking the law. Here we go, turn on in. I even put on my turn signal, not that you guys could tell. And now, once again, we're gonna try to line up when parking. This time, I now know what we did wrong last time. Let's give this a shot. Okay, my only fear is that we are too far over. Honestly, not too bad. We definitely do have more space over here than on the other side, but we're in the lines, so technically we did it right. Let me grab him, close the door, and bring him in for processing. Alrighty, here we go. Register suspect. Boom, boom, boom and you're good. And wow, the call even cleared successfully. I was a bit worried about that because obviously we didn't really do everything in the correct order, but we got the job done and the game seems pretty stable. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video here today. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like and consider subscribing, I greatly appreciate it. So make sure to click that notification bell so you know when videos are out in the future. And also check out the Discord server, links in the description, with over 3,000 members. We also have our Twitter, Instagram, Patreon page, merchandise store, and the Garrett Plays membership link. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye.